With its confident black and white shuttered exterior, this could easily be a villa along the Spanish or Italian coast, until you notice the giant Cape Granite boulder it's built against, then the rustic but elegant clumpy brick paving, and the signature style of Dylan's work. I've heard a lot has changed, but I'm so glad to see that you've kept the Mediterranean feel. One of the things that I really love about the Mediterranean feel was keeping the, the originality of the pieces. So each piece in the home tells a story from the tiles that we've used, the flooring, the, the finishes, the custom design lighting, the mirrors, everything that we've really looked at has a story behind it, which was really important for myself and the homeowner. Speaking of stories, I believe this house has a very rich history. So the property itself is really rich in history. The property dates back to the 18th century where there used to be a cottage with a cave behind it. And the guy who used to work in the cave used to make shoes called Schoonmaker's Cave. And he used to make them for the slaves in the 18th century. And we've actually kept the original photograph of the original house, which is behind you, Jay. And you can see beautiful tram lines that used to run through this road that we have out front here. The floors were originally going to be cement screed until the client decided they'd rather go with dark brick flooring. It's the kind of in-the-moment decision which comes from living in the place as the renovation evolves. The house looks so different, so much has changed. So Jed, I don't know if you remember, this used to be the dining room. And what I love what we've done here is we've actually converted this into the living room where you get to enjoy the sunsets here, which are really beautiful. And this whole space has just become one big lifestyle, which is far more suited to the house. It feels much lighter in here. How did you achieve that? So the first thing we did was we got rid of all the wallpaper and painted the walls white. And what that does is it lets the light reflect from the outside onto the walls, which actually makes it feel a lot brighter. And we've also used a lot more natural tones, which also just brings the space alive in a really beautiful way. You've done a stunning job with the kitchen. I particularly love this marble. So this marble has a beautiful story behind it. We really searched high and low to find this particular stone. What I love about it is the femininity that comes with it. But to get the stone in the house, it was quite a tricky situation because we had to crane it in and everyone was worried about it breaking, so we had to cut it up into pieces and that's where we got this beautiful inlay that we've done here. So the funny story about this is no red wine is allowed to be drunk at this table unless you put your red wine glass on the blue inlay that we've custom made, which is really beautiful because the stone is so porous. So every time we sit here and have dinners or sushi, we really get to enjoy the space and laugh about the fact that the stone is so porous. One of my favorite things is this brick floor that really pops and runs throughout. I love the black brick and the beautiful thing about it was it was only decided on halfway through the project and what it's done is it's really brought the space alive because you have the contrast with the dark floors and the light base that you have on top. But what we've also done is we've carried it out throughout the house where it has this indoor outdoor feel. So if you open up all the doors, this whole living space becomes a really big space, especially for summer when you enjoy the sunsets here. The black of the floors is echoed in aluminium shutters, combining with a gold, white and black in the kitchen for a hint of North African style. While around the corner, light wood, desert sand and burnished orange colours welcome the sunrise every morning. Jed, I don't know if you remember, this used to be the wine bar. Now we've converted into this beautiful breakfast nook, which I think is really lovely to start your day, have a cup of coffee and just really take life in. We found this man who lives out in Hermanus and he makes these beautiful handmade tiles. So each tile here is individually made, hand painted and crafted differently to actually give you that uniqueness and tactility which is really true to the house and the aesthetic that we've gone for. I think this is the perfect place to start your day. Once the sun sets, interest moves to the centre of the house where the timber is more red, light bounces off the reflective decor and the bollard-like cushions are a tribute to the boulder outside. This used to be the TV room, and we converted it into the dining room because it has the, the least amount of sun during the day, so it wasn't a space that you'd naturally gravitate to during the day. So by converting this to the dining room, it really brings it to life, especially at night where we can open these beautiful doors, and this whole living space comes together in a really unique way, which allows people to really enjoy a good dinner party. How would you describe the color palette that you've gone with? So it's a lot more tactile and a lot more neutral, which I think was really important. And we played with the same tones, which I thought was quite important, especially playing with woods, the beautiful detail that we put on the steps, which is a gold metal finish, which I think is really unique, which reflects the light again, the tiles that we got from Italy, which also just bring in that other level, and all the, the natural materials, like the linens on the chairs and the couches here, which I think is really important to bring a space to life and really accentuate a color palette. The 
black and light chandelier keeps the room modern contemporary, while the gold accented stairs elevate the style to what you find in the bedrooms. Dylan, a bedroom overlooking the ocean. I don't think I could ever get tired of this. It's incredible, right, Jade? Yeah. Well, what was your aim for this space? So we wanted to keep the feature the ocean and the views. So that was one of our big focuses. And the other thing is we wanted to keep the Mediterranean feel. So we've introduced the green slate, which I think is really lovely and unique, especially to this type of home. We also went with a lot more lax feel. So it's, we've got organic linens and the drapes on the curtains, which are really lovely. And then just the handmade elements on the tiles on the, the headboard, which just gives it that personalized feel, which I think is really important. The tones are also very subtle, which I think gives it that calming feel. Yeah, it is. And I think that's the whole point, was to look at the colors and say, what colors make you feel really tranquil and at peace, especially when you're spending eight hours at night in bed. And I think the gray that we've chosen is really good. It is a very calming color, and it also just complements the ocean. If the green slate picks up the Atlantic, the gold lamps catch the evening sun. And then there's this. Dylan, this is amazing. The first thing that catches my eye is the shower. It's almost like it's outside. It's incredible, and I love this room. I think this is the perfect closet. And the shower, we've actually put in a rainfall shower. So when you stand in the shower and you only have the view of Lion's Head, which is brilliant. You know, if you wanted to make girls hurry up when getting ready, this was not the way to do it. I understand <laughs> that. I do understand that. I really do understand that. <laughs> <laughs> the idea was for a walk-in closet right out of the movie Sex and the City with subtle gold detailing, giving it that Fifth Avenue boutique style. So Jade, this is the TV room, which used to be the pool room. We have a bit of an old world feel, which still lends itself to that Mediterranean feel with classic pieces with, mixed with a bit of contemporary. Looking out at this gorgeous patio surrounded by the mountain, it's almost like you are in your own little world here. That's exactly what we wanted to achieve. We wanted the space to speak to each other, which I think is really important, with a little bit of a sneaky bar next to you over there. So when you're having those great dinner parties outside or lunch parties, it really lends itself to a space that people can come in and relax and just really enjoy the view, which is the foot of Lion's Head and this beautiful boulder behind me. The master stroke outside was replacing a wooden deck with herringbone clumpy bricks. This garden really is something special. Jade, that's exactly what we wanted to achieve. We wanted to give this Mediterranean feel as if you were in Greece or Seaches, but you're not. You're at the foot of Lion's Head, overlooking Cape Town's best beaches. And it was really important for us to create a very structured garden. So we painted in between the rocks the white detailing, which just gives you this really authentic feel as if you were in the Mediterranean, which is teamed up with the beautiful Dutch bricks as well, which is all around the garden, and especially here under the pergola. This patio has had a complete facelift which was really important. We wanted the, this very alfresco type dining style, which we did this built-in seating, which really lends itself to a beautiful afternoon lunch here or early dinner with this beautiful roof that is weatherproof, which I think is really important, especially in Cape Town, because you never know where it's going to rain. What advice would you give homeowners who want to renovate an aging house? So I think the really important thing to do is to look at the structure of the house, so the bones, and then choose great flooring, which I think is really important because with good flooring, you can do anything. And again, a white wall for me goes a long way. And then also looking at the furniture pieces and the aesthetic that you want to achieve. Try and keep it really simple, don't overcomplicate it, and just look at the way you live in the house. Dylan, it's been wonderful catching up and it's been fantastic to see the transformation of this home. It was great welcoming you back, Jade, and I'm so glad that you got to see what we've done to this beautiful and extraordinary home. For anyone passing by, the house has come to be appreciated just as much as the scenery.